So guys, as you all know, in Murder Mystery 2, coins are a very big currency. They're super important for unboxing boxes to potentially get the reward of unboxing a godly or even a chroma. You need coins to buy uh, these powers so that way it helps you in rounds. You need coins to unbox the common egg. You also need some coins to uh, do uh, these cool, like buy some cool effects. And many other cool things. Now today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get coins fast in Murder Mystery 2 working for this year, 2023. So if you guys are excited, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So the first tip and trick of how to get coins fast is, let's say you are the murderer, right? This is what you can do. If you are the murderer, don't kill anyone. Just get as many coins as you can before you are found or before the round ends. Because this is why you don't want to go AFK. Because coins do spawn around the murderer a lot. So try going around the map in like rotations, like going around in circles. That way you can get as much coins as you can. And some good maps for that is like the House 2 map, the Mansion 2 map, all those good maps that are very big and wide and open. Like Workplace, that's a good map that you can go around in circles. Just good rotation maps, I guess. The next tip is if you are the Sheriff. Don't worry about killing the murderer, just get coins before you die. Similar to what you do like for the murderer, just go around in circles and stuff. If you want to play it risky, you can try to just survive as you can if you see the murderer you can shoot them or you can try to juke them out and get the coins before you get killed another tip is if you are the innocent this is what you can do you can either one survive as long as you can but like before the last like 20 seconds are here and this is a pretty good strat if you are the last person alive because there will be lots of coins near the ending of a murder mr 2 round so if you want to survive as long as possible, just hide in a good spot. It is a bit risky because if you get found and you don't get any coins, that would be bad. Or you could either try to just play it very aggressively and just try juking out the murder a lot. But you have to have good like hand and cor eye coordination in order to do this. And you also want to be on alert of where your surroundings are for where the murder is. Another good tip, this is kind of like optional, is... This is pretty helpful because if you buy the Elite Game Pass, you can then hold up to 50 coins instead of 40. Now, say you play 10 rounds and you get 50 coins each 10 rounds. That's 500 coins right there, and that's really close. You only have to play 10 more rounds of getting 50 coins to then be able to open a box. And who knows, maybe coins will be more useful in the future, like for some events. It just depends on what Nicholas has in his mind. So the last and final tip is, this is pretty helpful, and it is selecting the right maps. You want to pick the right map that is best fit for your playing style. If you want to hide, look for good maps that have lots of good hiding spots and big and open maps. If you want to try the rotating strat, do you like wide and open maps like, like I said before, like House 2, uh, all the good maps that like have like circles you can go around, like Hospital, that map's a good one. Just a lot of good maps, especially Bank too, like there's lots of coins like up and down the stairs. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed today's video of me showing you guys how to get coins fast in Murder Mystery 2 for this year. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you give a big fat thumbs up. And if you could smash the subscribe button guys, that'd be greatly appreciated. Make sure to turn on notifications for the next video every time I upload graphic tube. And I'll see you guys all in the next one guys. Goodbye guys.